A pregnant mother home alone with her 10 month old son says she's now terrified after somebody broke into her apartment. She lives at the Devonwood apartment homes in East Charlotte and she says someone kicked open her front door. I'm crying because I'm so scared to answer the door. She told our Brianna Harper that she thinks that it was a man from her carpooling group who's responsible. Brianna. Hey, Erica, that young mother tells me she's been without a car for the past three weeks. Since then, she says she's been using a community carpooling route to get from her East Charlotte apartment to work each day. She says she never would have imagined that group would lead to a terrifying break in. From the ride, it, it escalated. Kiana Woodson is a single mom to her 10 year old son on top of being pregnant with another child on the way. She says she's used to dealing with the unexpected, but a violent home break in is something she never saw coming. I heard my door being kicked in. In the middle of the night, around 2 a.m., she says she jumped out of bed and immediately grabbed her baby boy. I go to the door and I kind of crack it and he's standing right there. When he sees me with my baby, he walks, he runs out the house. On the way out, she says the suspect grabbed her TV, knocking it off the fireplace, but he never got the chance to actually get away with anything. His intentions weren't to really hurt me. It was to either take my stuff or to just break in and scare me. It turns out she may have known the suspect. I saw the car and it was the guy who had gave me the ride two days before. She says she had been using a community group to get to and from work, but her last ride was different. She told us the driver started stalking her. I made a post and I'm like, you know, I'm never using this group again. I'm sorry and thank you for the people who did help me. Immediately after the break in, Woodson says she had a security system installed at her home, providing an extra layer of protection. Yet still, she admits even a recent visit from detectives still has her own edge. I answered the door and I'm crying because I'm so scared to answer the door. And I'm just like, I don't know what to do. And so far, police have not made any arrests in this case. Back to you. All right, our Brianna Harper reporting live for us tonight. Thanks, Brianna.